And the winner is Mulberry. Apparently, according to the general consensus of all of you who left comments on my last video, the mystery log with the gold yellow color to it was Mulberry. I was not aware of that. I was thinking it may have been something else. I thought maybe locust, just because I've had locust one other time and I remember it being very yellow like that, but the bark didn't match for locust. So that's why I wasn't sure. But thank you for all of you who gave me some feedback and uh, informed me that indeed it was, I guess apparently, mulberry. So whatever kind of tree it was, it is now turned into firewood.
So we had the Easton made 37D out here yesterday and we were splitting right into that little area right over there. We were also pulling off some of the smaller splits and putting them in this tote right here just because those I can use for the roadside stand and bundles because they did end up splitting off a little bit smaller. And then everything else uh, I put down here, I did add on to my little lean-to shelter. I did run this design through SketchUp Pro. So I'm pretty sure that it passes all required building codes uh, for structural design there. Uh, the only thing is, is this panel that I had was not quite as long as that one. So I wasn't able to extend it out as far as this section over here. So I did end up stacking it in here and we ran everything kind of into a pile right here. Um, and I just decided to stack in here as much as I can because I will get a lot more wood underneath this little shelter if it's stacked in there as opposed to just kind of run in into a big loose pile. So we weren't able to get everything split up yesterday. We did run out of time and then the weather kind of turned and we had some rain coming in. So I knew it was gonna rain last night, half the day today, and then it's gonna rain again tomorrow, I believe. So uh, instead of leaving everything out there, I just brought the 37D back in here, uh, set it up so that if it is raining tomorrow, I can just bring those few rounds in here and split them into a little pile there at the end of the conveyor. So the mystery log is almost completely split all up. I do have a few more pieces that I did save that I wanna show you guys coming up uh, in an upcoming video, uh, running it through the five-way wedge on the Easton Made 37D. I think the five-way has become my new favorite go-to wedge for splitting. 